Hello dear friends, how are you? Welcome back to my world of fragrance. I am reviewing Rainier Perfumes Kisses Rain today. Where the heck did I put it? I'm reviewing Kisses Rain by Rainier today and I'm switching things up and now I'm going to be adding an actual rating of each individual fragrance when I do these individual reviews. So stay tuned for my description, review, and rating of this perfume. So I've been asked a lot about Valentine's scents lately, and I personally don't do Valentine's Day, so I totally didn't even think about doing um, a Valentine's list. But if we're going to talk about a fragrance that I feel would be suitable for a romantic occasion, a mood where you're gonna be close to somebody <laughs> in a romantic way, then I absolutely think that Kisses Rain by Rainier would be a good choice. So this is from Rainier's Rain collection. They have a few other fragrances in this collection, all with the ending of Rain. Kisses Rain, I find to be one of the standouts out of all of the Rainier perfumes that I've tried. I've tried all of their current uh, fragrances. So it comes in this nice box. And I will say that if you are going to give somebody a gift, then the way that that gift is presented is something that just adds this layer of thoughtfulness to what you're receiving. The person who gets the gift is gonna be, you know, a little bit impressed by that. So the box looks like this and it's lovely. The perfume itself looks like this, it says Kisses Rain. The lid is nice and heavy. The sprayer is, actually I don't want to spray right now because I just sprayed a ton of it, <laughs> but it's a good sprayer as well. So nice bottle. The bottom of it has this pebbly type of ridging and then the scent itself comes with this little picture so the picture is the inspiration behind the fragrance it says kisses rain and basically all of the emotions that the artist felt from creating this painting comes to life in the perfume kisses rain so it is an artist that is behind the brand you know the artist definitely is interested in expressing fragrant art as opposed to not. <laughs> so it's actually a certificate of authenticity because it is a luxe fragrance. So the perfumer behind Kisses Rain is Daniel Rosier. He is semi-known, like he has his own brand now. He's created lots of fragrances for different brands. And so he has in my opinion, moved towards the Middle Eastern style. We used to call them Oriental fragrances. Now, amber is a more suitable term. So amber fragrance. And this is an amber fragrance that definitely reminds me of some of the fragrances that I smelled in Dubai. So it has that sweet resinous element of the amber with a little hint of oud. Oud is not very prominent at all. The fragrance upon first spray starts off with bergamot and cardamom. So you have the fresh and spicy opening to the fragrance. There is coffee listed as one of the notes in the heart of the fragrance. So in the second stage of the progression of the fragrance, I wouldn't say that this is a coffee scent per se. The coffee is very, very minimal. For me, the almond is quite prominent. Personally, I adore almond. If you don't like almond, maybe not for you. Very minimal oud, like I said earlier, and there is definitely noticeable heliotrope in this. So heliotrope is quite a sweet syrupy flower, and it just adds this more deliciousness to the middle of the fragrance. Then as the fragrance dries down, you get to the ambery base. The amber is combined with vanilla, which gives the fragrance that almost dessert-like quality, but not quite going there. And then you have and then you have Tolo Balsam that is kind of massaging <laughs> this base, which um, adds a little bit more of interest. So I would say that this is a you know, nice fragrance on the spectrum of what is marketed towards men and what is marketed towards women. I would say that this is pretty much in the middle because it is a sweet fragrance that depends on your taste. There are men who enjoy sweet fragrances and there are women who enjoy sweet fragrances and vice versa, who don't enjoy sweet fragrances. So that is entirely up to you. Like I said, I think that this would make a lovely Valentine's gift because it is pretty mass appealing as a scent. It has that sweetness, but the sweetness does not go overboard so that people who dislike gourmand straight up would be put off by the scent. The presentation as well, I feel like would contribute to making this a really gorgeous gift.
So if you can't make it in time for Valentine's Day because I'm a bit late out with this, then maybe for another special occasion, this would make um, a nice gift. So on a scale from zero to 10, <laughs> I would rate this as 7.5, which is quite a good rating considering 10 is excellent, zero is absolute, you know, zero. <laughs> and this is taking into consideration the composition and the uniqueness of the scent. Longevity wise, I get more than eight hours, I would say 10 hours plus, but longevity and sillage are not factors that I take into the rating of the fragrance. That is more about the composition itself. The projection of the fragrance really does depend on how much you spray. With one spray, I get moderate projection. If you went ham with the sprayer, then you could definitely get uh, quite a good cloud around you if that's what you're interested in. And yeah, I think it's a good piece of work from Daniel Roser because it is something that it reminds me of a lot of Middle Eastern scents that I've smelled. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10, but it is a marvelous fragrance and it's a good quality fragrance. So there's my review. I hope that you enjoyed today's little review of Kisses Rain by Renier Perfumes. Please give me your feedback on whether or not you like having a rating at the end of these single reviews. I really feel like it shows you on a spectrum exactly how much you know a fragrance actually is worth it and this does not take into account the price of the fragrance this is basically based on the fragrances out there on the market whether it be luxury niche or mass market fragrances what i've smelled in the plus 10 years that i have been you know developing my nose i feel like i have come to a place where there is not a single note that i cannot appreciate in perfumery so the rating is um, objective to my taste, but it is based on what exactly, you know, is out there and what I've smelled in the past many, many years of being into perfumes. So I hope that you enjoyed this and let me know in the comments.